Didn't you hear me? My men are still inside. An ancient ruin, once home to the great Alfar royals of House Ancilla, but any honor it once housed has been tarnished by the Tuatha inside. Their cruelty is inspired. <sighs> My parents were wealthy merchants in Rathia, people who did not appreciate the ease in which they had found themselves. I wanted to do better. I wanted to serve. For years I fought against the Tuatha and their corrupt, maddening ways. We had them at first, I know we did, but then something changed. They became unstoppable. Uh, the estate of Lady Clary Ancilla once stretched all the way from the Caled Coast north to Cursewood. But that was before the Gastiers invaded and built their own keep. That is a long story. And both those families fell into ruin with the arrival of the Bulgan. You may have met Captain Drun Ancilla. He is the last living heir to the keep. He can have it. My name is Finn, General Finn of Tilera's army. My men and I were part of a unit called the Ariod that pushed into Cluricon, clearing the way for the enlisted swords. We were securing the dungeons of Castle Ancilla when it happened. A band of Tuatha marched in and claimed the keep as a defensive position. We got caught in the middle. I tried to get us out, but we were surrounded, trapped. That fool Private Gottliff shoved me down the refuse pipe. It's how I broke my leg. That's all I remember. Ah, I'm not entirely sure. Things happen fast. But it appears that the Tuatha are planning to form a hasty defense here, to fight our progress in the Caled Coast. If they can keep us occupied here, it will give them time to prepare a strong counterattack in the south, near Moondown Hill, and deep into central Alabastra. You're a brave soul. Warriors like you must have made the difference in Melsenshir. I wasn't there, but I heard it was quite the battle. The gates to Ancilla are chained and defended, but you can slip in undetected through the refuse pipe. You won't enjoy it, but it's a direct route. Find Private Gottliff. I have a feeling he's the last one alive. I still hope, but I have no illusions about what you'll find. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. You can slip past the castle's defenses by climbing in through the refuse pipe. I can tell you from experience that it's not a pleasant journey. My men and I were handpicked by General Tilera to infiltrate the Tuatha lines at Melsenshir and sow confusion in the ranks. Ancilla was the key to the Caled Coast, a fortress overlooking the House of Pride and the passage into Alabastra. That's where our mission ended in disaster. My men are waiting.
Greetings, mortal. What brings you to Ancilla? Torture? Imprisonment? Madness? I have been waiting many seasons for the return of my friend and master, Lord Ancilla. Do you know of his whereabouts? Is he well? I never cared for the telling, and found myself listless and wandering under the canopy of the stars and the forest green. I have no role, no place in any ballad. Lord Ancilla found me in his herb garden one day. I was laughing at the jokes the blossoms told, and he liked me, let me stay and tend the flowers. These were safe lands before Gadflo and the Tuatha. Safe for Fae, at least. We could wander as we wished. Now there is evil under every canopy. The mortal Lord Ancillo is good to me, kind. He is the only dustling that has ever taken a true interest in my telling. That is why I served him then, as I do now.
We've been here for nearly a season. What would seem like ages to one such as you? I was the alchemist for House Ancilla. You may call me Connie. The Tuatha imprisoned many of the servants and advisors when they invaded ten years ago. Most of them perished of starvation or disease, poor souls. I am all that is left. Goodbye. Who are you? And what brings you to this stale hell? I was a bare-knuckle fighter in Rathir before the war. I was good, too. But then the body went. And after that, the whole world plunged into chaos. I'd rather not discuss it. You wouldn't either if you'd spent the last few days praying to the gods for a way out. Hoping to see a shaft of sky through the stone. A shadowy wood creeping with Alfar lore. So thick, it can choke you. If it weren't for the army, I never would have come here. Some places in this world are just cursed. Damn that man. I knew that shoving him down that pipe wouldn't be enough. So... You're here to rescue our sorry hides. Sounds like we've got our new orders. But we can't leave. Tigneri, the madman who lords over this castle, he will not back down when the Alpha come. He will stay, and he will take many lives. We must kill him now. Otherwise, many of our brothers and sisters in the approaching army will fall prey to his soul-bind curse. We'll need to get into the throne room, and the only way to do that is to raise the portcullis. Once we find the lever, we're in. It is Tigneri's life's work, a mixture of magic and alchemy that bends the very rules of nature. He plans to use it on the Alpha to strip our forces of their magic. The Tuatha wish to turn Castle Ancilla into another Mel Senshir. Let's go.
not expect her to be born.
Come on, come on, come! We must move quickly! Let's go. Come on, come on! You do good work. That's it then. 
Tickneri won't be marching all over the Alpha anymore, will he? Uh-oh. You don't look so well, my friend. I'm afraid Tickneri has gone and touched you with the Spellbind. A little gift to remember him by. Not to worry. There's bound to be an antidote in the laboratory below. Come along, we shall find it. Chin up. I'd imagine it's hidden somewhere in Tickneri's laboratory, down in the deeper dungeons. Let's check there first. Ready? Don't leave you behind. We're in this together now. Ready? Go on and drink the damn thing. Bottoms up, fool. Be well. there. I can't believe I might survive long enough to make it back out of this pit. We should probably return to General Finn. I would expect him to locate the nearest Alpha camp and connect with its commander. 
Take care. I realize that you won't stay, but it's pleasant to have company while it lasts. Goodbye. I
Strength of contempt, fear, and hate courses through the rushing veins to the very fingertips. The instruments of war are readied, light in the grip, and machinations of the gauntlets of the Fey Hunter. By the gods, it was horrible. He killed them all, and nothing could stop him. For now, maybe. I think he only let me live because I ran. Oh, gods. How could he have killed them all? He's not even a two author, but nothing even scratched him. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride, 
But you know how Fay are with their stories. We were going to be the ones who beat him and opened the path to Alabastra for the army. We were going to be heroes, you know? Then Dren told us to turn around or we'd die. And God's help us, we didn't turn around. We thought so too. We were wrong. We feel the glare of a silver raptor, a furrowed brow, eyes that pierce the veil. We see the scowling engraved face of a beautiful, elegant terminus. We know this mask of death, this azure visage, this celestial teardrop, as the helm of the Fay Hunter. Turn back or die. That's what all invaders say. You're not going to tell anyone about me, are you? Not that I've done anything wrong, mind you. I just didn't have the will to fight anymore. So I, well, I stopped. Fighting, that is. Private Elia Madmia reporting for duty. Oh, I am not fooling anyone. Listen, I've got some useful skills to trade, if you're willing to keep my little secret hushed. Lock picking for your silence or gold. <laughs> Interested in some training? You won't find a better lock pick in the Caled Coast. Not that there are any others. It's a talent, really. A sleight of hand trick that my older brother taught me so we could nab ale from our uncle's footlocker. It sure comes in useful out here. So, you already know I ran from my post. So, well, you probably consider me a coward. You wouldn't be wrong. Silly, isn't it? A young girl enlists in the army but then panics at the sight of battle. Probably wonder what I expected. I know I do. Been in the service for three years, and it's been three years too long. One person can't make a difference in this war. At least, not if that person is me. 
If you've killed one, you've killed them all. They're like weeds, reaching up every spring despite how many you cut down the winter before. Our forces are having a rough time of it, what with all the Tuatha about, but we'll get through. We got this far. We're not going to give up now. Bye! It seems you caused quite a row in Castle Ancilla. I've been watching the Tuatha panic ever since you wriggled through that pipe. Well done. You have my eternal gratitude. Really, there are few who would have done what you did. It would have been an honor to fight beside you at Mel Sanchir. Please, take this shield. It is the one thing I made sure they never took from me. That and my dignity. I'll never look at a stronghold the same way again. And the stories always described Ancilla as an elegant place, a home fit for kings. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Good luck to you. Hello. <clears throat> My children will know to thank you for saving my life. They will never forget what you've done, and neither will I. Take care. You should explore the keep of House Gastir. I hear it's quite a vast place. I guess if you've seen one castle, you've seen them all. 
Goodbye.
Oh, how can I ever begin to thank you? What an ordeal that was. Quite the ordeal indeed. Please, let me introduce myself. I am Bern Elgar, head steward of House Ancilla. Of course, since the house no longer exists, that means I now serve you. Do not misunderstand. I adore the Lord and Lady, but my first responsibility is to the fortress itself, to Sea Watch. Really, my liege? You wish to know about me? Why, I am Bern Elgar, he who lives to serve his charges at Sea Watch. Where to begin? Well, I attended to the young lord before he was master of all the lands before him. Then I tutored and served his son, young Master Droon. And Scylla was once a mighty name, a mighty line. Few like them remain, at least those of the old order, a time of when Losulfar and Dokulfar were kin. This castle was meant as a holdout against the hordes, a final martial bastion against the encroaching. And it did exactly that, if only in theory. Lord Ancilla commissioned its construction.